Good Sunday morning, Irish fans. It's a little after 10.30 this morning, and the Irish are on the floor here at Conti Forum, the home of the BC Eagles, where the Irish will take on the Eagles tonight at 6 p.m. I'm Jack Nolan, joined by my broadcast partner tonight, Jordan Cornett. It's a big game for both teams, a very big game for Pat Connaughton and Zach August, both Massachusetts natives, both Boston area natives, both very excited about being playing back in their home area code. Excited about coming home. You're playing in front of a bunch of your friends and family, but you got, got to guard against doing too much in a game like this. There's a lot of distractions, making sure people have the tickets, making sure looking in the stands, my best buddy here, as my mom made it in time. You got to focus on the game and play within your limits. Don't try and do too much. Don't try and be a hero. Just stay within your game, and those guys will have big days today. Both these teams in very similar situations, teams that had very high expectations before the season. They have not been able to meet those expectations, in part because of personnel issues. Notre Dame, of course, began this month with a thrilling overtime win, courtesy of Eric Atkins and a jumper at the buzzer back at Purcell Pavilion. This place is sold out tonight. This is an intense rivalry. I grew up here. It's going to be tough for the Irish to win, and I got to play very well. Yeah, they're going to be tested. On the road is where the Irish have struggled, especially in a new conference. But this is familiar territory for at least Coach Bray. Having once been a member of the Big East with us, we played here before. We've had some great shooting nights as a program here. If we can get off to a good start early, knock down some shots, take the crowd out of it early on, we've got a fighting chance. But we must control tempo in this basketball game as well. Both teams have had some frustrations this year. Boston College has been playing very well. They lost on a heartbreaking buzzer beater down at Georgia Tech in their last game. Well, that could be a good thing or that could be a bad thing. They could still be demoralized coming off that buzzer beater and that could bleed into this game or they could come out here looking to right the ship, get back in the winning column and play with a purpose. You don't know what kind of team you're going to be seeing in your opponent. All you can do is control what you're going to do. And on the road, it is essential. It is critical to get off to a good start. One of the great things about this Notre Dame team is it doesn't seem to matter what circumstances they have to deal with. They just keep playing, and they did it the other night in their double overtime win over Clemson. 40 minutes long, 40 minutes strong, Jack, is what I like to say. And that's what it's going to take to beat this Boston College team. They have star power on the roster, both on the outside and on the inside. Olivier Hanlon is one of the best scorers in the country. Ryan Anderson does a pretty good job down low, so the Irish will be tested defensively. Can they answer the call? 40 minutes strong, 45 minutes strong, 50 minutes strong. That'd be okay, too, because Notre Dame is now 9-1 in, in overtime, their last 10 overtime games. At Connie Forum in Boston, with Jordan Cornett, I'm Jack Nolan, Fighting Irish Digital Media.